Yeah, I talked to Joe. It's not my fault he takes it the wrong way. Not your fault! Not your fault! All right, it's my fault! Everything in the world is all my fault! You said yesterday. I'm trying to change. I've grown up since then. And to think I almost swallowed it. I've said to Joe, this business has been going on a long time, long before he showed up. There is no question of us running off anywhere. Joe heard you. Don't lie, David. I was just saying it to keep it sweet. Would you let me explain this is the truth? The truth? From you? It's a mess. It's a complete mess. It's just got out of hand. It started off as a bit of a laugh. I mean, then it just got serious. Oh, yeah. What does that mean? What it says. You're not telling me that you're in love with her. Is she in love with you? Oh, poor cow. How long's this been going on? Been on for about 18 months. And how long have you been planning to run off together? She's been talking about it for as long as I can remember. She's got her heart set on it. And then Joe turning up. Oh, yeah, and what about her kids? Well, that is part of the problem. I'm trying to keep everybody happy, and it's driving me up the wall. <laughs> what? Am I supposed to feel sorry for you or something? Does her husband know anything about it? I quite like him. He's a bit of a twit. He's all right, really. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Did you phone her back? Are you going to? No, not today. David, you did tell her you were coming up here with me and Joe. Oh, well, look, how is she going to be feeling? Look, just let me worry about Cindy. I'll deal with it when I get back to London. There's nothing I can do while I'm up here. And just exactly what are you going I to do? I don't know yet. I need time. I've got to handle this in my own way. It's certainly not going to help matters if you start getting involved. Oh, and what's that supposed to mean? I'd just rather you didn't mention any of this to her. Or Ian, for that matter. Please.